The Great Crimson Calyx, something all of you are very familiar with. I too am familiar with it. As Honkai Star Rail players, we know the struggle of grinding these trace materials out, and it is painful. We were all once that new player looking at these Crimson Calyxes and thinking, once I get to difficulty 6, I will get my guaranteed purple drop every run, only to get to difficulty 6, and you not get a guaranteed purple drop every run. Not even every two runs. It is horrible to drop rate on this thing. I don't understand why it's not guaranteed. Anyways, <laughs> that's what we're here to see. I, uh, I have been collecting a lot of data on the drop rates of the purple drop, the blue drop, and the green drop. So, I'm here to show you my findings. Over the past few months, I've collected data on my personal runs, and I've recently hit a big milestone of 600 runs, which is pretty significant for a few reasons. The first reason is it is 6,000 resin worth of runs, which is a lot of resin. That is equivalent to 25 days of resin constantly refreshing. So yeah, I have been doing this for quite a bit of time. Secondly is that 600 is a multiple of 6. I know, I just blew your mind. 600 is a multiple of 6? I know you're thinking, wow, there's no way, right? But this is important and will come into play later. But for now, just think of it as how in the Crimson Calyx, you can choose between doing a clump of 1 to 6 runs before you have to manually say you want to do more runs. So this is the equivalent of doing that clump of 6 100 times. Pretty big number, right? Thirdly is the fact that it's a big number. 600 is a pretty decent sample size, right? 600 runs is the equivalent of having 600 chances at getting a purple drop. So it's a pretty big number. Because of this big number, I can feel confident in saying I'm quite sure I know the drop rate of the purple drop and also the drop rate of getting an extra green drop. So now I'm going to go through each drop and their potential chance at dropping. A little disclaimer, all these runs were done at difficulty 6 of the Crimson Calyx, which is the highest difficulty, so this won't be the same for all the other difficulties. This is for difficulty 6. Starting with the greens or tier 1, you have a 100% chance to get a green, but you also have a 25% chance to get a extra green, so you can get two of them. In truth, after my 600 runs, the percent chance I got for the extra greens was 23.17% chance, but the thing with that is it goes back and forth between being below 25 and above above 25. It just so happens that I have been unlucky my past few runs, so I have a lower than 25% chance. I am not the average. I am just an unlucky fellow who hasn't been getting his extra greens that I so deserve. But I can confidently say that you have a 100% chance of getting a green drop and a 25% chance of getting an extra green drop. Next up is the blues or the tier twos, and you have a 100% chance to get a blue. There is nothing else about it. There's no caveat. There's no nothing like getting an extra, getting one less. No, it's a 100% chance. So for each run you do at difficulty 6 of a Crimson Calyx, you will get a blue drop. On to what everyone really cares about and what you're probably here for, the purple or tier 3 drop. The chance of getting a purple drop from a Crimson Calyx domain is 16.67%. Now, uh, there's a little bit <laughs> to say about this number. You see, I have in my spreadsheet that the chance of getting a purple drop is 16.67%. However, that's not the true number. The real number is 16.6 repeating percent chance. This number as a fraction is 1 6, meaning that you have a 1 in 6 chance of getting a purple drop. Remember how I said 6 is an important number? Well, this is why. You have a 1 in 6 chance of getting a purple from a Crimson Calyx run. For my personal drops, this means that I am the average. I am actually exactly the average. Unlike my extra green drops where I was unlucky, I am the exact average, meaning for the 600 runs that I have done, I have gotten a hundred purple drops. So to recap, for a single run in the Crimson Calyx, you have a 100% chance to get a green and a 25% chance to get an extra green. You have a 100% chance to get a blue and you have a 1 6 chance to get a purple drop. That is all there is to know about the drop rates of Crimson Calyx materials, at least at difficulty 6. I am not going to waste a lot of resin, well, enough to get a good sample size for difficulties 1 through 5. Uh, <laughs> I like my account a little too much, alright? I ain't doing that. But uh, yeah, difficulty 6 is the main one anyways, because it's the highest one. Everyone's going to get there eventually, and that's the one you're going to grind to get your trace materials once you're in the late game. As I said, a few months ago I started collecting data, and the only reason I did that is because I couldn't find any information online regarding the drop rates of the Crimson Calyx. So, I thought, well, I'll start making the information. And here we are at present day a few months later, and I still can't find any information regarding the drop rates of the Crimson Calyxes. So, here it is. Here's the information. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed, got the information you needed, and I hope you have a good day or night. See ya.